buzz bait. It's in the stick ups a little bit. Yeah. Shook it right there. There you go, nice bear bass. Pretty sick. Great to get one right off the bat on the buzz bait. I'm fishing all war bait stuff. I'm committed to the war baits. That's the stuff I like to fish for freshwater. More reaction style baits and the swim jig, spinner bait, the underspins. The water's a little higher, so there's more structure, more cover for these bass to hide in. Right now I'm just fishing close to these stick ups, running that war baits, buzz bait through all this stuff, seeing if I can't get some strikes. I'm patiently moving down the bank. I'm trying to get to some of my other spots and hopefully we can get on some fish. All right, let's go fishing. There we go. There we go, guys. I gotta get him out of these sticks. Oh, he's in this one right here. There we go. Got him. Popped off. Perfect. Whew. It's an easy in and out with these baits because they are barbless. That's why you gotta rip them in as fast as possible. <laughs> Another nice one. War baits, buzz bait, little inline spinner. We made these last year, limited edition. Hopefully you guys are running them right now because now's the time they're getting bit. Oh my God, I think this is a big one. I think this is a good one. Keep the pressure on them, keep the pressure on them. retie new jig oh yeah buddy oh look at that <laughs> solid fish good to get one on that swim jig especially after that retie all right right now I'm focusing on two baits fishing that buzz bait so I'm looking for the blow up on top hopefully I can hook them there if I can't hook them there coming back with that swim jig try to get that rebite so I did have one come off and that's just that's just the name of the game here they come off because the barbs are pinched I know I've said that before so I mean fish come off here it's a given it's gonna happen you just have to accept it <laughs> and I'm I need to figure out how to get them into the boat um, better so it takes me a little bit of time to figure that out and uh, I'll end up swooping them in pretty quickly here but uh new side of the lake some new terrain. Let's go check it out. There we go. Swim jig fish. Water ski him in. Another nice one, solid fish. Another swim jig eater. Pretty tight to the cover. Starting to put a little something together here. Nice fish. Had to water ski him in. Get him in as quick as possible. Lift him right into the boat. As soon as he hit the deck, the jig came out. Fishing that 3 8 ounce Barrett Roach. Created this color just for Barrett. Combo seemed to get bit the best. And I got it matched up with a little Strike King Menace. Oh my god. This is, might be a good... No, oh, it's a small one. Good bite though. That's where I lose it, on that jump. Dude, choked it, choked it. All right, another nice one. He was hooked up pretty good, dude. He had that thing choked down his face. <laughs> Putting it tight to the rocks, tight to the trees, waiting for that thump. Small guy. Don't be, don't be chewing on it. Smallest one so far. Still good to catch. Felt him pick it up and then put it down. <laughs> and then pick it up again. So sick. You can feel it like go right over some trees. It's like tree branches. 
He was swimming off with it. Way off with it. Oh my god. Bro. So fun. So fun. Look at, dude, they're choking the jig. Choking it down. <laughs> they're hammering the jig, boy. It's pretty sick. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Keep with it. And the spotties, they just, they thump it, they kill it. It's like an instant death. They rattle it. These largemouth are like subtle. Makes you think about your baits, your jigs, your line. Like makes you pay attention more. There we go. There's a bite. There it is. Exactly what I was talking about guys. It just feels heavy. It's like a slight heaviness. <laughs> well another nice one. I wouldn't say you know giant or anything, but definitely a good bite. They're not directly on shore. They're a little bit offshore, off the trees. So I'm bringing the jig shallow to a little deeper. There's some stick-ups under the water, and that seems what they're what they're keyed in on right now. Pulling. He was in the trees. Big time tree guy. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so I had to keep that line tight. Keep pressure on the fish. Able to get him in. Nice. Ooh, splashy guy. So still with that 3 8 ounce. Oh, took the tail off the little menace. I'm gonna go ahead and put a new one on. It's a little rage tail menace. It's like a green red flake. Flip that jig upside down. Just thread that craw tail on nice and straight. We're back in business, ready to get bit. Choking it. Easy off. <laughs> uh, he wasn't that big, so I wasn't too concerned about getting them in, but I really should practice on getting them in better. Another one. Off and on. Off and on. Okay. I gotta work on getting them in better. <laughs> I just said that, but <laughs> alright, take more time more pressure. Less time, more pressure. More pressure, less time. One of the two. There we go. Nice one. Good fight, good bite. Shook it underwater, which is cool. Awesome. Pretty sick right on the right on the drop. Staging up a little bit, just waiting for something to come off the shoreline. And my little jig did, so. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, small guy, but still fun. There it is, a little swim jig bass.
That one had a follower with it. Pretty cool. Let's go back in that area. Maybe there's another one. It's like one pound range right now. Get out of this one pound range. Get into some five pound range. This guy's been stuck a couple times. Good looking pattern on him. There we go. Better one. Ah. Similar size. Dude, he had the he had the tails in the crushers. <laughs> Who's going for it? <laughs> Didn't even know he was on there. Man, they just pick it up and start running. This one's got a tag on it. Decent fish, big one. Went air, airborne. Oh, barely hooked on the bottom lip. Jeez, barely hooked. <laughs> Dang, insane. Scam. Strong little fish. Not a giant, just strong. Dude choked it. Jeez. Look at this. Dude choked it down. <laughs> there it is right there. Still clicking away at him, man. Hitting it on the drop. I mean, that's fun fishing. You just gotta admit it. Getting hit on the drop is insane. guy big guy I don't care small guy big guy doesn't matter it's not that small big enough pressure 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 keep the pressure on still with it I'm trying to get that jig near where it looks like rocks would descend into the water thinking that's where the bass are staging up right there little ambush spot so it's been pretty successful we're gonna keep with it oh my god this might be a big one this might be a big one decent one man I threw a bunch of baits couldn't get bit on anything finally pick up that jig again it's just one of those things dude shouldn't fish anything else but the swim jig today <laughs> nice bass way offshore tail looks a little beat up there all right let's fish a little bit offshore it's uh 10 foot of water so maybe we'll kind of concentrate in those areas and see if we can't get some more bites yeah i was having some trouble i was kind of fishing shallow and you know fishing fishing a couple different baits but unable to get bites and kind of some like black moss on the inside on the inside of the trees it was sticking to the jig so kind of pulled out a little bit started dragging the jig through some submerged stuff got a bite oh god good one Another one slightly offshore. Oh, another tagged fish. This one is, this one's tagged also. If you guys know what this means, let me know. 
Let me know in the comments section if you know what these tags mean. So far this is my second one. Let me know what you think. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, first cast. Spinnerbait fish. Spinnerbait fish. I just put it in the water. That was sick. Don't shake it, big girl. <laughs> what? Dude, are you kidding me? Spinnerbait fish. First cast. Sick. I'm insane. Insane. I'm gonna keep with that bait a little bit, keep with that spinnerbait. Might be time to start running that thing, get some more bites. Yeah. starting to pick up so I moved over to a half ounce jig something a little heavier so that I can maintain bottom contact there you go got one guys okay Woo, finally got another one it's been a little bit for sure it's been a little bit let me quickly talk about what's going on. The visibility is really good, actually. This lake is is like a real, is known for being real stained, like tea color, pretty dark. And man, back there and all through this other side, it, the visibility was really good. I could see the bottom. I could see fish on the bottom. And that for me is always a hard time to catch fish. When I could see them, it's uh, pretty hard for me to catch them. Right there, right there, kayak. That was sick. Really close to the kayak, so I got to see him eat it. <laughs> it's not often you get to see him eat the spinnerbait. <laughs> Little guy. Going through the grass, going through the uh, going through the stick ups here. Got a bite, so good stuff. Spinnerbait, something a little heavier. Just so that it gets a little deeper in the water column. Kind of airing it out a little bit on the uh, retrieve. Kind of like a uh, subsurface. I'd like it a little bit deeper. Even though I did get those two bites. But they were tight to the cover, so I gotta keep that in mind. Gotta pitch it right into the trees. There it goes. That was tight to the trees. Small guy. See if I can land him. I landed him. Landed him. Woo, he spit up a Senko. This guy just spit up a like a wacky rig Senko. Not a giant, but got one to stick. Happy about that. Let's run this bait a little bit more. Next to the trees, that's where they're at. little bit of a direction change there and he, he bit it. Just put a little pause in that cadence. Got bit. Oh, another one with him. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Trying to figure out the bite here. Trying to figure something out. It's almost midday. Sun's getting high. Wind is up. Run the spinner bait. <laughs> that is my answer right now. Run the spinner bait. Grass bass, tree bass, got him. 
Good bite on him. He was hooked up pretty good, put two holes in his face. Clean looking fish. Body wise, face been hit up. Right in the sticks, boy. I can see him take it. It's it's wild. This is like the first time I've been able to like see the fish get get the bait. <laughs> Very strange. The water is uh, this is real good here right now. Still on that fast paced spinnerbait grind. Trying to find them. <laughs> Just having some fun out here. Still catching a few bass. Gotta love it. That's fishing Barrett Lake for half the day. And I gotta say, that was really fun fishing. I definitely caught a lot of fish, got a lot of bites, and it was really good to get to use the gear. One takeaway from the trip is that the water visibility was pretty clear. Typically this lake is very stained, like a deep tea color where you can barely see your bait right in front of you. Today I was able to see the bottom in many locations and even saw a lot of bass on the bottom and free swimming. You typically don't see that kind of stuff here. All right, let me go ahead and break down some of that gear I was using to get bit today. The swim jig was the absolute star of the show. It was definitely the go-to bait for today. In the morning, I fished a 3 8 ounce swim jig. And then when the wind picked up, I moved over to the half ounce swim jig. This color is called Barrett Roach, and I have it paired up with a Strike King Menace. And when that wind came up, I fished the Warbaits 3 8 ounce Pearl Spinnerbait. I'm fishing that with a gold and silver blade. Definitely a killer when the wind picked up. I was able to move that bait faster through the water column, triggering those bass to bite especially when the sun was high and those bass were more related on the wood structure. And for that early morning bite, when there's no sun on the water, I fished the Warbait's buzz bait. This is a limited edition bait and we put these back into production so you guys could have a chance at getting them. It's an inline single blade and this color is MB Secret. Thanks for all the support you're giving Warbaits and this channel. We're growing and it's because of you. The online store is super busy and we ship every day so you guys can get your product as soon as possible. The channel is growing with likes, comments, and views. So thank you very much. Hopefully something in this video inspired you to go fishing and hopefully you use some of those Warbaits in your fishery. Get out there, go fishing, hook that giant.